like the video for the next five seconds to get champs as soon as possible. All right, guys, we are at 4,446 supported creators. And when we do hit 5,000 supported creators, I'll be streaming every event on Twitch. Links down below. Please use code Recky, hashtag add. And also, I do add people if you go ahead and add the account creative Recky. So once you do go ahead and add that account, comment down below your gamer tag along with you saying you like the video. And whoever comments that the most times will be added. I add around 25 people a video. And yeah, let's get on to the video. All right, guys, so pretty much I'll be telling you how to get champion arena as fast as possible and as quick as under eight hours if you have the time so i want to go over a few points but the biggest thing because a lot of you guys might be experienced but i'll be going on to other details right after this but the first thing is what guns should you use in this meta and what your loadout should look like so in my opinion i played already and the combat shotgun is not good anymore okay I'm sorry to say it, back in World Cup meta, the damage is way higher and you could two-shot someone, now you can't. Well, at least with the blue one. It's really bad and it's like almost like a nerf gun and the reticle is really small and it's not even rewarding when you hit someone headshot. So like, I've used it and I do not recommend that. I recommend a pump over all the other guns. I would even use a charge over a combat sometimes, but if you get a golden one, then you might go ahead and use a golden combat over like a green or blue charge, but yeah stick with the pump the golden purple or whatever pump you can get that's the meta okay so if you're starting at zero points so what you want to do pretty much is w key if you could okay make sure your mechanics are on par your aim is really good and make sure you're confident or confident when going into fights if you're not have a friend to warm up with in 1v1s make sure to always have a friend if you're not confident when you start off your day you can W key really hard when you don't get any bus fare because you won't lose, you know, any points while W keying anyone. So that's what I would say is the best time to go ahead and W key as much people during that. I think it's zero to 2000 arena points. I'm not sure, but whenever you hit bus fare, you can uh, obviously start changing it. So pretty much what I did for the first zero to like 2000, I landed at that Pleasant Park area. The old thing where you get all like the green freaking Broly Dragon Ball, whatever you call it, gauntlets. You know all that stuff i pretty much landed there and once i started getting bus fur i went to my actual drop spot i just played it out got a couple kills and just go for the win and kill people if i see them or if i get hits on them just like a game or a regular arena game a big thing is when you're going into a fight always make sure you know where your opponent you want to make sure you see your opponent first before he sees you and make sure you at least get a shot in on him and that will make his confidence lower and your confidence higher and also make it easier for you to kill him because he'll have to waste his meds or he might not even have any meds to med up afterwards so always make sure you know where your opponent is first before he knows where you are that will benefit a lot and getting that extra tag or two in will benefit you a lot while you get up to those arena points placement is going to be key you're gonna w key you're gonna get mad when you die you're gonna go back you're gonna get headshots knocked. you're gonna get even more mad you're gonna get ran over by a car you're gonna get even more mad you're gonna get a broly ball thrown at you like dude it's going to annoy you a lot and just make sure towards the like three or four thousand to six thousand it's going to be harder because a lot of people are going to be trying way more harder to get a champion and placement is worth a lot okay get kills but get them when you get the tag or two and push them don't just start a fight for no reason i usually wk a lot but i always make sure i try to get a tag in or something before i aggressively wk okay but even when i do wk Make sure you are taking your fight very slowly if you have to. Don't rush it because people usually say, oh, um, finish fights fast, guys. You know, it doesn't matter. Like, I make sure you're taking your minis, your big pots. Don't, because, you know, usually when you're like, you hit him really hard, you want to go and jump in his box while being lit. Don't do that. Go reset, mini up, take your time, take the walls and stuff. Make sure you're having your good resets and stuff so you don't get hit while trying to take his wall. And take time on your fights and you'll realize a big difference i don't really recommend this but you can also use helicopters and stuff to stay in the air i wouldn't do that it's not really good practice and it's not even worth playing the game at that point if you're really doing that but yeah there is cars to uh bypass some time i was actually doing that driving around because i actually like driving the cars in the game and yeah sometimes i'll just drive around the road until i found someone and then you know just kill them right there so yeah those are my tips make sure your aim is really good make sure your mechanics are really good make sure you have a good mindset and make sure you know how to peace control really really well and you'll be on your way so yeah let's get on to the gameplay i guess
You fool, you fool. Come over here, you fool. You fool, you fool. Wait, you could drive cars now in the arena. Okay, you fool, you fool. All right. Oh yeah. Dude, this flame trap's actually pretty good. It does 50 damage right off the bat, homie. Oh yeah. Oh my god. He got freaking 200 from Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let me get that. Oh yeah, another win back to back baby.